Hi, I'm Maria from Nancy's Notions, and today I'm going to show you a project that's simple and easy to do. I have a rag rug pattern and a tool that comes with, and I've used up some of my stash in the form of two inch strips to make this great little mug rug that will take you no time to do on your own. Okay, to get started, I'm going to simply clean up the end of my strips. Here I've got a bunch of 2-inch batik strips cut and ready to go. I'm going to fold over an end and cut a slit right about in the middle and about half an inch long. It does not have to be exact, but I need a little hole right there, and I need it on both ends of every strip. This is something that you can do as you're working. You don't have to sit and cut this on all of your strips right away. I want a contrast color to go with, just because I do. There's no rules. If you've got all purple strips or all green strips, and that's what you want your rug made out of, then that is totally up to you. If you want to get your ruler out and measure so that they're all exact, go right ahead, but this is a project that is meant to be fun and unintimidating. So I've got a slit cut in both of these ends. I'm going to slide one into the other. So it looks a little kind of like that. Take the opposite end of this dark purple one, since that's the one I'm attaching, and put it through the slit on the other end and pull. And I'm going to keep pulling until these ends form kind of a knot. This is a rag rug knot. It's not tied in a knot, but it's slipped together. So now they are connected just like that. This green one's going to serve as my anchor, and I'm going to start tying knots with the purple one on top. So to get myself started, I'm going to take one of my binding clips and clip the end of this to the board just to hold it still. If you wanted to use tape on the table, if you wanted to pin it to a pillow like this instruction suggests, that's really up to you. This is something I've got in the sewing room and these clips are handy and easy to use. And now we can get started. So the strip that I am going to tie knots with, there's a hole at the end of this tool. I'm going to slip the end of this strip through that hole and your tool is threaded, so to speak. I'm going to loop that strip over the top, come underneath my anchor strip, and pull it through just like this. And I'm going to keep pulling until I have a knot formed around that strip. It feels and looks maybe just a little bit messy at first. The more you do this, the more um, consistent your knots are going to be. So expect to have a little awkward feeling at first, but the more you do it, the more you're going to love it. So I'm over the strip again for the second knot, coming through just like this and pulling until a knot has formed again. I'm going to keep doing this until I've reached the size that I'm gearing towards for my project. Maybe you just want to make a small hot pad, or maybe you want to make a placemat, or maybe you want to be ambitious and do a rug. For today, I'm going to work on just a little mat, sort of like a mug mat to set my coffee and maybe my lunch on. You know, it's really similar to crochet because I'm making the loops, but I'm knotting it around this anchor cord. And it might be a good idea to keep track of how many knots I've made so that when I turn around for the next row, I've got the same number of knots forming to try and keep my project even and square-ish. So now I'm nearing the end of my first strip. I'm going to just slide that tool off, and there I've still got my hole here. I'm going to choose a different color just so you can see the difference from one to the other. I'm living wild here. I've got two, two pieces at once folded over to cut a slit just to save some time. So now, same as I did before, this is going to be my new knot tying strip. It's going to go through the hole at the end of the first one. And the tail of this one is going to go through the slit at the beginning of this one. So I'm going to take my tool again and the end of my next strip and thread it through just like that and I'm ready to tie some more knots. I experimented with some cotton strips that have a much different feel from the batik. I like the feel of the batik better. 
and the batik isn't herring as much as the cotton did. The cotton I felt like was really shredding on the edges, so I like the look of this batik fabric even better. So you're going to have to experiment with what you like. I've accomplished the size that I think that I want, so I'm going to stop with this row. I can unclip my clips, but now I can just hold this in my lap or in the air like this. And I'm going to go back in and count the number of knots that I made so that the next row I accomplish the same number, and that'll help keep me square. I've got 20 on here. So I've tried to keep the loops kind of uniform in size. You'll notice that there's a hole. I'm going to work my way through with that tool later on, and that's how I'm going to add on another row of knots and continue to let my mat grow in size. So this bright green is my anchor strip again. I'm going to continue to use that in the middle of my knot, but now I'm going to pick up the top loop of each knot that I made along that first anchor line. So if you can see here, there's my anchor strip. I am just going to bring it up over the top, hold it in my fingers. So if you've done any crochet or knitting, you're used to weaving the yarn through. It helps to put the strip through my fingers to kind of hold it taut. I still have the end of my tool threaded onto this strip. I'm going to loop it around like I did in the beginning, but this time I'm going to come through the top part of that knot and keep that anchor strip in the middle and tie a new knot. And I'm going to pull it so that I've got a knot on top of the strip. Can you see how that hole just kind of showed up? That's going to disappear a little bit when I go into the next one. But I want this new row of knots to form on the top of my original row. And every time I turn the corner, I'm going to do the same thing until I've reached the size that I want for this map. The other thing you want to pay attention to, I noticed on my practice piece that this anchor strip sort of got loose in here. So if I hold on at the end here and just give it a little pull, I want that anchor strip to remain straight, not necessarily tight or taut, but I don't want it to start eating up inside those knots. So you always want to keep checking that too. So now as I'm turning this next row, you can see my anchor strip is number one, getting really short and it's too short for the row. So just like I'm adding strips for knotting, I'm going to add another anchor strip in here by simply cutting the slits on the end and tying it together just like for the knots. So you don't have to create this huge long strip. For your project, you can just add as you go, just like you are for the rest of it. Ta-da! And off I go again. So here we are at the end of my mat, and I think this is a good size for my coffee cup and maybe a snack. And to end, it's so simple. I am just going to tie a knot with the two strings, just like I'm tying my shoe. 
And I'm going to take the tool and either weave that strip into some of the knots to get rid of it. Or if you want to do a border all the way around, you can keep adding on another strip here and stitch or tie knots all the way around your mat so it has a uniform finish, but that easy and it's done. How fun was that? So today's project combined a simple pattern, a tool, and some two inch strips from my fabric stash to make this great mug rug. It's thick enough, I don't need to put another heat resistant product underneath, and it's a great spot to park my soup and my cup of coffee. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button and comment below telling us what you think. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to see what you're making with this tool. I hope that you'll send us some pictures with the tool in use and your finished project. Feel free to post that photo on Instagram and use hashtag Nancy's Notions. Thank you so much for watching and I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Few simple knot tying, that's not what I wanna say, stash to make this great rug, mug, rug. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm confirming that the mat is here. <laughs> still here. No, and I still need no. to say this, and I, I have to take a breath. <laughs>